Welcome to Kiss the Reviews. I'm Armando, that's Corey, and today we are doing 1996's Fear. <laughs> so let me the fucking house! Uh, before we get started with the movie, like, subscribe, comment, all that stuff. Everybody that's watching these videos apparently is getting a good kick out of them, so that's awesome. Oh, well, Fear, 1996, starring Marky Mark Wahlberg and Reese Witherspoon. And a, and a host of other people, William Peterson, Amy Brenneman, uh, Alyssa, Alyssa Mo Milano. That's, that's my gal. Aly <sighs> Alyssa's my gal, and I had a crush on her when she was in Who's the Boss? And then when this movie came out, I was like, Somebody dial 311, because I saw something, and I need to say something. Reese Witherspoon, who grows up in a, uh, in a, in a house, it, it's your typical teenage angst, like daddy's too, you know, overbearing. And Parents are divorced, he's working too hard, but they're super wealthy, so yeah. she doesn't, she's never understood how good she really has it. Yep. Yeah. And, and she's spoiled little shit, and yeah, and hates stepmom, who's about like a fraction older than she is. <laughs> it's, I think she's literally four years old. Yeah, <laughs> it's absurd. That's also a Pornhub video. Like Reese Witherspoon <laughs> has to show her stepmom how to use a tampon in this movie. <laughs> That's how young she is. I also one of my very first notes after the movie was done and I was finished watching it. The first note that I actually wrote down was this movie should not have been called Fear. It should have been called Marky Mark and Grandpa Kisses. You see the way he kisses in this oh, movie? Dude, like that the, bothered me so much. Uh, like very, very wet and like... He looked like the Venus flytrap from Little Shop of Horrors. <laughs> Every time he was kissing, he just opened up like different nodules in his mouth. It was the yeah. craziest shit obviously people who know me know that I'm not like a prude. When I see a movie, I'm not like, Oh, they're kissing. This was, this was gross. This was gross. Really gross. Especially like he starts the first time. I think it's the first time they kiss. He's kissing her on his cheek and he's pretty much French kissing her, her cheek. <laughs> yes. Like he pauses for a second and I'm pretty sure you see his tongue swirl around for a second. <laughs> That's he's, the first hint and a half for your ass that you got somebody who's not all there. When yeah. they start hugging your cheek. He's he's oh. the he's the guy and like, you know, we were all teenagers, we were all in high school, we were all young love and all that stuff. Um I was never a big like hickey guy. I don't give him, <laughs> I don't get him. No. Right? Same. Mark Mark Wahlberg in this is like he's the hickey guy. Like yeah. Yo, look how many hickeys I got. I gave her double. Yeah. And you can tell that by his oversized Bugle Boy jeans complete outfit. <laughs> yes. T-shirt so, and jeans. The other note that I had from the very beginning of this was William Peters. The opening of this movie is him up jogging. But at the end, he starts like sprinting. Has William Peterson ever run before? Hey, I just got these feet today. I'm going to take them on a test run and see how they work. If Marky Mark is Grandpa Kisses, he's Grandma Running. <laughs> so Reese, Reese Witherspoon has a strained relationship with her dad and her stepmom. It, it cuts to her going to school and Reese and her friends, I guess, skip out of school or take a lunch and go to what a, a biker bar slash pool hall for some yeah. sandwiches? I... All I chalked that up to was like, oh, Seattle in the 90s. <laughs> That's literally... Fair enough. <laughs> let's, let's move on. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so Alyssa Milano um, pops up in, in, in this, and obviously she's in this throughout the movie, but she pops up as the slutty best friend. <laughs> Dude, if you say she's in it throughout the movie, and she's not. There's like a time period that, that where she's... I'm pretty sure every dude in that, like multi-billion dollar mansion they're living in yes mark Wahlberg and his friends are just taking turns because she disappears yes and then the next time you see her is she looks all cracked out alert. yes they're basically blowing crack in her face and she's yeah. riding a dude and then Wahlberg. 
Yeah, it's that was gross. Yeah, it gets it gets a little nasty there. Yeah, uh, it's it gets a little touch and go for for Alyssa Milano. She's gonna for, have a tough road back, guys. Yes, absolutely. She's gonna have a tough road. Was, I, no pun intended. I will say this: this is definitely uh, a movie filled with PSAs. So, just, oh my god, yeah, just so the entire PSA is just watch this movie <laughs> and don't and do exactly the opposite of yeah. what everyone does throughout it. 1996's don't do that <laughs> um but they're they're laying by the pool and Aly- Alyssa milano is looking at a, a playboy apparently and is talking about how like she'd like to be you know a nude model or do porn or whatever the hell she's talking about she's more of a hustler girl can we call her that she's she's not the cl- she's on she's on that way <laughs> she yeah she, <laughs> her her age in this movie being what they're 17 16 they're 16 16 so her being a 16 year old girl she's gonna be in bad shape by the time she's like 18 but her mom they like allude to this when they're laying by the pool her mom is like off jet setting with some old d old 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 chubby d who's got deep pockets his fence some old coot in San Francisco with a pup belly and a lot of dough. <laughs> he promised her a Mercedes. Yeah, old Chubby D. Yeah. <laughs> Chubby D and the boys. Chubby D and the boys. <laughs> so they, they get this flyer at the pool hall, bar, yes. whatever the hell. And it's uh, an invite <laughs> to this rave. After, and... after Alyssa Milano, who has the worst taste in men. So I think you actually have a shot. Yes, I do. Because she like looks up at the fugliest fucking guy. In the whole place. It, it's Rosie from Point Break. Yes. And she looks up at him and goes, <laughs> and just gawks. And he's and, 30. <laughs> right? And Reese Witherspoon's like, God, stop being so obvious. And then she turns, Mark Wahlberg comes in, and she just goes, ooh la la. <laughs> and she's like, Oh yeah. yeah, that's yeah. that's my guy. <laughs> I like those Calvins. <laughs> you have her dad, who the workaholic, so he gets called away to Montreal yep. um, after uh, making uh, a big deal to Reese about how it's so important for yes, family. Exactly. So she's like, "Great, thanks, architect dad, not yep. being present." So she calls Alyssa. They go to this, you know, this rave. And here's the here's the first PSA I think actually for uh, everyone out there. Hey kids, it's Uncle Corey. When you're out and a young teenager coming up in this world, your parents are hypocrites. Don't use that as an excuse to be a dickhead. Thank you, <laughs> thank you. That's a great PSA. Thank you. All parents are hypocrites. Why is she so pissed? Exactly. So, go, hey, you like this house with the fucking security guard I'm paying for? <laughs> And all these fucking tiny so, ass dresses that cost hundreds of dollars I'm paying for, I have to go work to do we, that. Can we talk about the dresses if they're called that? It's oh literally like a loincloth with a belt. <laughs> right. And they take, dude, her parents take pot shots at her for her to be like the goody two shoes yeah. of the, the uh, uh, movie. She's called like a slut. <laughs> Within the first 10 minutes. Take off your makeup, you look like a slut. Amy Brennan actually defends herself. She had about two gallons of makeup on, and that's exactly what she looked like. Take it easy, Amish Julie. <laughs> this is a talent. <laughs> We're kids in the 90s, you're wearing makeup. Get the <laughs> fuck out of here, slut-shaming your stepdaughter who already hates you. So her, her dad goes out of town. They go to this rave. They see... You know, old man well, river. Just, she's like, there he is. I'm going to go say hi. And then. And ditches her friend. Like. Oh, like that. Just, just willy nilly. Like deuces y'all. I'm going to go smoke crack and get on this dick. <laughs> They're at the rave. Alyssa's, you know, hooking up with a 30 year old. Uh, Reese sees Marky Mark. They start talking. And then. A massive riot breaks out. It's like yeah, like somebody starts a fight with Old Man River. Yep. And then, like, literally the entire rave says, Fuck you! And it 
it turns into like the fights from Anchorman. <laughs> like it just breaks off. Bricks just running around with a grenade in his hand. <laughs> it's the craziest shit. And then as you know, the people in the party are escaping, you know, said riot, you yes. know, through the front and back doors. As you do. Mark Wahlberg says, come with me if you want to live and goes to the roof. Yep. Along with old man river and all of them. But then I don't know where they're running to, but like Wahlberg's like, Ooh, there's a ladder here. Cause he even says something like, how are we going to get down? Figure something out. You know, it wasn't the best laid plan, but at least he figured out a way out. Everybody else that comes up to the roof is just scattering. Where the fuck are you going? Oh, dude, it's like the zombies in World War Z. They're just diving off the building. <laughs> they have, they're so fucked up on E and this rave that they're just diving off the edge of the fucking building. He climbs all the way down the ladder. Yes. Reese Witherspoon gets halfway down and he, she's like scared and he keeps going jump. Yeah. The ladder goes oh, all the way down. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Don't jump. That's insane. So, and this is the second time in the night that Margot, Alyssa Milano, ditches Reese Witherspoon. Yeah, see because you later. Deuces, he's got crack. I'm out. <laughs> so, Mark Wahlberg and, and Reese Witherspoon <laughs> go to, I don't know, a park somewhere. He takes his Corvair to a park. They start talking. They This is where they have their, you know, first date exposition. They She kind of explains. Wahlberg tells her that, you know, he comes from what her dad refers to as the, uh, the beaver cleaver type family. Yes. And which obviously we find out later in the movie just isn't true. But then she's like, oh, I got to go home. To which his response is, All the time in the world. Ah, uh, the time before cell phones ruled the world, and you could just go, No, my watch broke. Yeah, I guess the battery's <laughs> slow. <laughs> but this isn't Mark Wahlberg's first rodeo. His go to move is, Let's move some oh. fucking clocks back. This motherfucker <laughs> travels more time than Doctor Who. It's insane. He That's his whole gig. Nicole's curfew is 12 o'clock, not five after. Yeah, Eddie. And that's the real reason uh, Grissom from CSI, her dad, gets so pissed off. Yes. Adam, because he starts fucking with the money. He, yeah. His character's already established. His family's kind of second rate. Yeah. But when he missed that deadline because Mark Wahlberg set that clock back... It was on. Oh, yeah. Now you're fucking with the man's money. Yeah. Well, and, and he gets clued in um, a couple of times. Like, they, they, they quick shot to his face. And he's yeah. like, hmm, I don't know about this guy. Yeah. <laughs> like, Mark Wahlberg's, like, helping around the house and kind of, you know, he's... It's really funny because... It's so over the top. It really is. I don't want to interfere or anything, but if so happens I work summers in the nursery, I'd be more than happy to give you a hand. Can I help too? I couldn't do it without you, partner. PSA number two, motherfuckers. <laughs> if anybody comes up talking that kind of shit, they're not that good. Get rid of them. They are running a fucking scam. Yes. They're, 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 they're either going to murder you and your family, or they want you to put some money in on a pyramid scheme. Like, it's, yeah. it's one or the other. Exactly. So... But the funny thing is, right before that scene where he meets the family, there the, it shows their relationship blooming. You know, they're they're hanging yes. out more. They're making out outside, up against a building, and he he says, "You know, every part of you tastes so good." It goes literally from that line to Nicole. Yeah. I want to meet your family. I know I'm laying my special uh, lady friend down for some fun sex times. I like to talk about her family and how things are going <laughs> internally before, you know, how's really your, getting after it. How's your Aunt Jenny, by the way? Yeah. 
How's your so, grandma's hip? Is it still rough? So, oh, yeah. So, so let's get back to some more grandpa kisses. Uh, <laughs> so, but it's here's here's another PSA. If it goes from you taste so good or does every part of your body taste, whatever the hell he says, to I want to meet your family, yeah, time to cut bait and run. There's a couple of scenes when he meets the family because they're, for whatever reason, the only bathroom in the house he could use is in the dad's, like, architecture yeah, office. Yeah, that's where he sets the clock back. Yeah, but they're they're talking, and <laughs> Mark Wahlberg's like, Nicole! Yeah? Get me a Coke. That's the first time the dad's like. <laughs> but he doesn't say anything. No, he doesn't. He's just taking it in because That's he's crazy. too busy. Hey, hey, hey. He's too busy checking out that ass is what he's too busy doing. Because <laughs> Alyssa, Alyssa makes it very obvious she doesn't oh, mind that old D. They're sexually aggressive and then there's like, Jesus Christ. But after they go to the carnival, finger blast on a roller coaster. <laughs> i love how as they're climbing the roller coaster she is also climbing i remember as young me this was 96 i was junior sophomore or junior when this came out okay and i remember thinking that fingering scene was the hottest thing in the world <laughs> <laughs> and i couldn't wait <laughs> to get my girlfriend Onto a roller coaster. The weird thing about this this whole carnival scene isn't even Reese getting fingered on a roller coaster. The weirdest thing is Old Man River making out with Alyssa Milano and like yeah, like pointing at her like PSA number what three or four. Um, if you're Reese Witherspoon in that, just run the fuck away. Just run away. Yeah. There is if if. Even if Mark Wahlberg is a good dude, he's hanging out with that piece of shit. Like, he's not just like, oh, this guy's a bad influence on my boyfriend. Right. Um, this dude is like leather clad, super rapey and smokes crack. Your boyfriend probably does too. <laughs> like, you need to get the hell away. And after this, her dad leaves for work. They've met Mark Wahlberg. He already has this kind of like weird feeling about him. Yep. And then invites his wife like, hey, we'll stay at that hotel that we stayed at that one time. And we'll leave for the weekend. Reese, you're good to stay here all by yourself with your brother and nothing bad will happen, right? Nobody over the house. Listen, she's got a boyfriend now who's 18 with a six pack. Um, pretty sure he's coming over and laying pipe. Like that's what's happening next. Oh yeah, and from the way she acts the next morning, nothing bad did happen. It was all good. No, it was absolutely all good. Yeah. She gives him. She gives uh, Mark Wahlberg the keypad code to get in the house. Like I could come by afterwards. Would that be okay? Sure. If it gets too late, I might be in bed. Okay, so just punch one four three two under the keypad and just come on in. Just start this off with a PSA. I I, I might go to sleep. So here's the key, the key code to my house. Just wake me up and come over when you're done. Whatever it is that you're doing with your friends, smoking crack or selling dog fighting dogs or whatever it is that you're doing. Um, he gets in after snooping around the house for a little bit and stealing some shit. Then just she wakes up and it's like, hey, you like this bod? He gets. It's time for some good quick. vibrations. He gets naked, <laughs> quick. Yeah, so he pulls the, uh, you know, sheet off, and then the next scene, he's standing over her, naked AF. <laughs> like, hey, honey, you want to take care of this thing for me or what? He, he pulls the sheet off and is like, it's not gonna suck itself. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but then they get the, they get down to Bone Town. Oh. And and he doesn't even warm it up. No, he just he goes. He's like, yeah, I warmed it up at the carnival. Well, you're good, he right? Thing like like Spock does to people's eyes to like read their minds. He does that thing over her eye, and then he goes, "I love you." <laughs> <laughs> That's not foreplay. That's not it, kids. No, off off camera, he gave it a uh, he gave it a grandpa kiss. <laughs> 
but yeah, no, you're right. He just he just goes in and just like, you know what? This is happening now. Yep. Uh, <laughs> how's your father? <laughs> so by the way, you got any uncles I can meet? <laughs> disgusting bastard <laughs> so after this well, this is when Wahlberg starts to show his true colors he starts to show it little by little mm -hmm. and when I say little by little I mean up until the point where he beats the fuck out of what's his name Gary Greg Gary. whatever the hell his name is Reese Witherspoon's friend he sees her white a person <laughs> white friend number one white friend number one so he he sees her, him hugging Reese Witherspoon outside of school and pounds him in the back oh. of the head. This is what I don't get. And this is one of the notes that I did write. How that kid didn't have a seizure? <laughs> How he didn't kill him there instead of later yeah. in the movie, spoiler alert. <laughs> but she, it shows her in the next, because, you know, she's trying to break up the thing. And he swipes at her, like open palm, swipes at her, like pushes her down on the ground. Yeah on the right side of her face but when she hits the ground she's holding her left eye and in the next scene she's got this huge bruise here and i'm like i rewound it three times because i'm like i don't think he hit her like i'm not defending mark Wahlberg in this movie he's a piece of shit but he's innocent in this one here he just pushed her down that bruise wasn't on him i don't know what happened after he pushed her down Oh my god, I gotta completely disagree with you based on one fact how fast he can get naked. You think he can't throw a quick ass fucking bow? Pow pow! Now he's down. Pow pow! She excuses it at home by, oh, it was in, we were playing volleyball in gym class or whatever the hell, and that's how I got a black eye. And this is where her and her stepmom start to bond because she was like, oh, I've been in an abusive relationship too. I'm going to show you how to hide bruises. Yep. Dope. Cool. Let's do this that. This is how you hide it from the other men in your life who would <laughs> fucking murder the guy that just fucking elbowed you in the face. The, the best is the mm -hmm. next upcoming scenes because she's crying because they broke up because she doesn't want to talk to him and yada, yada, yada. Because this is where it starts to ramp up a little bit. They're showing him in one of the scenes laying in his bed and they're like, dude, you're going to come out and do that job that we got in the thing. And like, you've just, you've been skipping out a lot. Yeah. And, and they're panning over the wall. Who keeps a picture of their mugshot on their wall next to their bed? Just, just out of curiosity. His bedroom looks exactly like Max in Always Sunny in Philadelphia. What's the decorating motif for this place? Prison cell? Why do you have your mugshot? <laughs> You obviously have been to other photo places before because there's a whole string of you and Reese Witherspoon. Well, the only places he gets his picture taken are uh, little booths that take quarters and the police station. So yes. I don't think he owns a camera. He's just like, no, why, why I got to do that? I'm just going to I'm just going to pop in some quarters into this machine and I'll get what I look like on March 18th. Just, <laughs> just go to Sears. I'll put a nice background behind you. It'll be tits. So, Dad figures out that that they banged because he finds the condom. the condom. So now, he, not only is he like, "Dude, I think this dude's fucked up," um, he's also banging my daughter, and I'm pretty sure he might be banging my wife. Not a hundred percent sure, <laughs> but kind of sure. And here's new PSA: not what, here's what not to do when you're a narcissistic father. Don't go fucking bananas and make it about yourself. Are you insane? When I said earlier, horrible father of the year award. Yeah. He goes nuts. Yes. And goes into this almost incoherent rant because it almost makes no sense how he ties it back to him. Like, he looks at the condom and immediately says, I want you to understand that whatever you think I may have done to disappoint you is no reason for you to go screw up your whole life. Did you think she was going to take your dick at some point? Because that's not... She was always going to find another guy. Yeah. You might not like that at 16. Yeah. But... Well, that's... Wrong way to approach your child having sex. Wrong way to approach your child having sex. Wrong way to approach... If you don't like your daughter's son's boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever... 
the 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 worst thing you could do is go i don't like them and because of that you're no longer to see that person ever again because the next thing that's going to happen is what happens in this scene is she goes down reads the opens the little card that she got with the flowers like i want that d again because daddy told me not to and then it goes into them starting to date again he's back at the house like literally the next day Mm -hmm. the dad walks in and he's immediately fucking pissed what's he doing here What's he doing here, Laura? And this oh, is yeah. this is where one of the grossest grandpa kisses comes in. He's looking at him across the pool, and Mark Wahlberg gives the wettest, like, uh, like oh. trying to engulf her forehead. The next scene, he pulls up to the school, is like, "Hey, why don't you pull down the street? I want to talk to you for a minute," and goes into this like, "I came to tell you that you're going to stop seeing Nicole. Now, either you're as smart as you think you are, and you'll just go away." Or else you're going to make things a lot harder on yourself than they have to be. Listen, you're 50 years old, okay? This dude's 18 and fucking carved from stone. You're not doing shit, old man. You know what you're doing? You're going home and crying because he's going to beat the fuck out of you. But Mark Wahlberg, because he's a psycho, says... I also know you ain't keeping up, so to speak, your end of the bargain with the missus. Because if you were, she wouldn't be all over my stick. There's little things in this movie that I forgot about, and that's one of them. After this, Dad walks away, gets in his car, and Wahlberg just starts fucking pounding his chest. And I remember when I saw this the first time, I was like, psycho! I had no idea like no. what that was for. And then when I started, when I was watching it this time around, because I haven't seen this movie in forever... I kind of forgot about it again. And then he started doing it. And the same thing. I'm like, fucking psycho. Yep. And then it goes to the next scene. Like, why would you do that? And he literally said, look, I, I may have. Yeah, exactly, dad. I didn't touch the dude. He's psychotic. Yep. And if, if this caused a bruise this big on his chest, then he's a pussy too. So you shouldn't exactly. be, you shouldn't be talking to him. Well, we should get him to a hospital because he's got some internal bleeding problems. <laughs> Nobody discusses anything. It's just no. yell, 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 and then they run away. Yep. Like there's no discussion about anything. The next scene is when Wahlberg gets uh, gets rapey with Alyssa, and it's just it's just a really like the entire scene from start to finish is just disgusting. Yeah, and it's disgusting. And what I don't like, and you never see her get raped. I'm not talking no. like that. No, the lead it's, up is just the lead up is fucking filthy yeah, it's, and it's, gross and dirty. Yeah. It, it, it made me want to take a shower, like ugh. ugh. Yeah. But, I just got I got medicine for hep C that I don't have. <laughs> after <laughs> the next scene is Alyssa going over to Reese's house, Reese treating her like shit. Yeah. And then in my head, I'm like, why is she treating her like shit? That and, whole scene was shot from Reese's point of view. Yes. So everything we are seeing and hearing as the audience is the same thing that she's fucking hearing and seeing. Exactly. And, as and the, still blames the victim. And as the audience, we all went, ooh. And Reese went, what a slut. <laughs> what? She had about two gallons of makeup on, and that's exactly what she looked like. You were asking for it. <laughs> but Unbelievable. And, and it's literally still mad and walks away, even after Alyssa sa- basically says that she was forcibly raped. Right. And Wahlberg runs Alyssa off the road in the next scene. I'll, I'll give Wahlberg this, because I know it was either one of, if not the first role he, he did. No, I think it was the first role. Well, I, I think so, too. It was like this and then Boogie Nights. Yeah, but th- his his range in this, like, <laughs> he, he, he sold it. Like, the oh, psycho. He was scary as shit. I, it was so weird, because he was just like, you make it right, Grandpa Kiss. Yeah. I'm leaving. I was like, oh my God. Oh. It turned my stomach. Dude, every even when he like slaps her upside the head. What did you say to Nicole? <laughs> After the he runs Alyssa off the road, it shows him going down the rabbit hole of psychotic. And he does you know, he's just poking himself with the fucking needle. And you're like, what the hell is he doing? And then gets the blue ink and washes it off. First of all, he gets the spray. Here's another PSA. If you're going to do your own home tattoos, that's fine. How about you just get in the tub and use the shower instead of spraying your pants with the <laughs> with the water? 
but he sprays it, wipes it all off. And my only note on that whole scene just says, Nicole, forever. <laughs> he might as well have done too legit to quit. <laughs> so after that scene, um, Wahlberg then kills Gary in the woods. And the, the, the neck mm. snap. <laughs> oh, God. The, He's done that before. The, <laughs> yeah, the audio and video to that is just horrifying yeah that was not his first time snapping something's neck no no not at all later in the movie they Alyssa milano comes and tells everybody that gary's dead yep and that gary's dead they found his body in the woods by school beaten to death he wasn't beaten to death no literally got chased down like his knees might have some scuff marks on it from getting tackled and then his neck was snapped. Every movie we fucking do, the police are just feckless morons. Yes. Why? That's not how it is in real life. Yeah. Hi, I'm calling with the suspect in a murder. Could I please talk to the people that try and solve murders? Jesus. <laughs> Sir, we don't have any officers to come out there. Another raid just broke out into a riot. We're going to stop it from happening. We're taking our helicopters there. But after this, Wahlberg then fucks up the dad's car leaves a note that literally says now i've popped both of your cherries and then Wahlberg sexually assaults reese witherspoon in the bathroom of a mall because he stalks her there for a minute this movie makes me feel like i've never known true love because i've never <laughs> been so obsessed with somebody that i do something like that you're absolutely right it's not what i say it's not the way you see me acting. It's here. Think you're what you feel. It's what your vagina does when I do this. <laughs> oh my god. What? Dude, that's so bad. It's horrible. That's what he says to her. I know it's what he says it's to her. It's so bad. <laughs> it's, it's so terrible. The uh, Wahlberg, uh, the dad goes to Wahlberg's house that they're squatting in uh it's I, I think it's old man river's dad's house and his idea is to trash the house yeah probably one of the worst you're, ideas you see the level of psychosis you're dealing with yes. and you're like well you still fucked up my car bro yeah let's get even yeah <sighs> no dude you need to snap pictures and it again i am not one of these people that's like guns solve your problems your gun's going to solve this problem. But but in this situation, a gun will solve your problem. <laughs> and you see that you're going to need it. It's not stopping with a yeah. The cops don't fucking care about stalkers in Seattle. No, no. Listen. It's not going to happen. If you get a gun, you in this situation, the, the whole excuse that I have a gun to protect myself from home invaders is actually a real thing in this situation. It's literally the only reason you're buying. <laughs> exactly. I would arm myself, my wife, my daughter, and my stepson, because the stepson in the end of this movie is the most cool, calm, and collected kid I've ever seen. Props to that dude. Because yeah, he's on his shit. Him and Reese Witherspoon, everybody else is losing their shit. Yep. Mark Wahlberg and his crew and the family... Reese Witherspoon is like, huh, I see the security guard is in there. Let's uh, let's go ahead and do some Morris code, youngster. Like she's literally doing the Morris code for SOS. Listen, if I had to do Morris code right now, I'm a 43-year-old <laughs> man. I would have to Google that shit. Wahlberg then is like, I, I know who did this to our house. Let's go fuck him up. Yep. Which leads to the best scene in the movie. The very calm, like... It all could have been different, Mr. Walker. You should have allowed nature to take its course. In the end, it will anyway. So let me the fucking house! I was prepared for that to be one of these scenes we talk about, like the uh, Buffalo Bill lines in Silence of the Lambs. Yeah. Where I was just going to be like, <laughs> you fucking moron. <laughs> and that was not the reaction. No. I did not laugh. No. And what I really forgot was the horrifying set of events that transpire 
from here on out. Yes. Like, the second the dog's head starts to come through the dog door, the rest of this movie is, like, fucking Rob Zombie crazy shit. Yes, yes. Like, The Strangers, Rob Zombie, The Purge. It was so good. All of these influences you can see in their movies came from this. Because this scene is fucking horrific. Yeah. No, it's... And it doesn't stop. No, and, that, and that's why I really like it. You get to a, at the end of, a, of movies like this and they're just so anticlimactic. Mm-hmm. This is literally action packed. It's From so good. The dog head yep. to them all bashing with like uh, the trees, logs and yep. fucking axes to uh, the- listening not even seeing Alyssa, see, uh, listening to Alyssa Milano just getting the shit kicked out of her by old man River. Yep. That made me want to fucking vomit. The little kid trying to escape and getting shot. The amount of shit that happens in the last, like, 15 minutes of this movie is yep. astounding. Yes. And you want to talk about, like, a roller coaster ride being a good metaphor for something? Fuck your orgasm. What the <laughs> fuck is going on here? <laughs> The, there was two things that jumped out at me. One, they're they're in Reese Witherspoon's bedroom. He's basically beating the shit out of the dad. She comes in with a like peyote. Peace pipe. It oh. was the peace pipe he won her. At oh the yeah, yeah, yeah. She comes that's in what, with that. Which, by the way, that's how you do foreshadowing. Yes. yes. That's how you handle foreshadowing, ladies and yes. gentlemen. But she stabs him in the back, and again. To Mark Wahlberg's credit, that his reaction wasn't to go ah oh, or to scream like in every other goddamn movie. He yeah. went that. That is a man who lived through a lot of non-consensual sex in prison because <laughs> the way he breathes through the pain is phenomenal. <laughs> but then, then you know, the next scene because he goes after her. The dad comes back. What I didn't remember was him getting tossed out the window. 400 feet that was so ridiculous out of the whole movie this movie yes. from front to back beginning to end was just incredible and yep. then the le- even like the the ending scenes were incredible yes all you had to do was throw him out the window and have him go straight down and die yeah. hey, and even have him hit the side of the house once if you want yeah but throwing him over the fucking bluff onto the rocks. Yes. That was ridiculous. When I saw that, I went, Oh, when I saw that, I went, Oh, this is written by a dad who's losing control of his daughter. (laughs) Cool. (laughs) Got it. (laughs) Totally get what you're trying to do, sir. Good luck. Dude. I loved, loved, loved this movie. Um, Yes. I don't think I have to ask, but I'll ask. Stands the test of time? Yeah, 100% for the most part. It's a great movie. Um, it's it's over the top with what the 90s were. Like, yeah. it wasn't all giant raves and riots and... Yeah. Wild horses! <laughs> Wild horses! <laughs> it wasn't that. No, it wasn't. But, the only... But, Minus that small, very small criticism. Yeah. This movie's a hundred percent watchable, hundred percent stands the test of time. Oh, absolutely. Fantastic. No, it's it's I loved and still love this movie. I love you. Uh, unfortunately not free anywhere, so we had to rent it. Uh and if you guys want to go out and watch it, you'll have to rent it too, but it's uh, it's a small price to pay, four dollars to to small watch. Small price a- to pay to watch a uh, grown man finger a young lady on a roller coaster. <laughs> and on that note, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Wait the fuck at you! <laughs> For Corey, I'm Armando. This is Kiss the Reviews, and this was 1996's Fear. <laughs>